Hi everyone, Ross here at Teacher Talk. I thought I'd offer a video with this resource to help you best understand it. Um, I've led hundreds and hundreds of teacher training events uh, in my career, as well as now professionally. And if you're a school or co college leader watching, I suspect you have your, your own methodology. So I hope I can offer some new ideas. Um, but for all teachers at some stage in your career, you have to go and lead a training event for other teachers. And it's a bit of a, a nerve wracking experience for some. So what's the thinking process, all the logistical things that change your effectiveness of the teacher training session are all at play. So let me just put my slide up here for you um, and hope this helps. So just walk you through it in a short little video. Um, so five minute thinking framework, he says, let's just check the time, five minutes, here we go. So the logistical stuff, first of all, What's the event? When? Where is it going to take place? Who needs to be? Uh, who's leading the event? Who needs to know? Um, when do they need to know? The preparation in advance, the month before, the week before, the day before, the practical side of things, setting up the room, etc., and all the people involved you know, on the front end, delivery as well as behind the scenes, timings during the day, at the end of the day, after a five period day. Uh, a twilight, uh, a Saturday event, um, or a full inset day for five hours. All these things are at play. The number of people in the whole sessions, individual sessions, different rooms, lots of different factors to consider. Um, slides. Now, if we've got a 30-minute session and I'm presenting, you know, that fearful, just someone at the front going through 100 slides. Well, if I've only got 30 minutes and you can see the presentation's got 100 slides, then your alarm bells should start ringing. So I know when I've hosted CPD events in schools, when I have other teachers presenting, the first thing I look at is the time that they have versus the number of slides that they're going to present. And me also going through this step by step, it's a great dual coding strategy, one small thing at a time, rather than everything all at once. Um, at the bottom, the logistics, so the room, the layout, the positioning, the lighting, the sound, the connectivity, testing, testing, testing. Is there a school bell going to go off behind the scenes? I know on inset days, sometimes there's building work taking place. The first thing I do as a, as a visiting speaker is always ask the leadership team to make sure that's not happening if I arrive and I can hear it, because you want people to enjoy the event and for information to be heard and of value. Staff and student needs, what impact do we want in classrooms the next day for staff, for support staff, teaching staff and our children? And then the resources, uh, we all like some resources we can go off and play with in the classrooms the next day. Um, you got to factor in the printing, the logistics, the costs with all of that. So there's your logistical side. Let's go to the strategy. School priority, what is it? How does it fit? How is it communicated? Uh, you know, we don't want a, a kind of bolt on tick list type of event. This has to be a long term solution. Think about the outcomes for the day. My focus always, you'll know, is the stickability factor. What do you want people to take away? What point is the follow up? So that outcomes and evaluation needs to be factored in. If you want CPD to be of value, you know, that one size fits all, one size fits one person, not everyone. So, how do you deliver whole staff content? and provide opportunities for people to play in small groups, share, bring things back. Uh, so without going into all the kind of pros and cons of brilliant CPD, something to consider, and then have a plan B, okay? So, um, you know, what if it all goes wrong? Fire alarm, those types of things. So there's the blank template. Um, hope you find it of use. Um, if you're new to leading staff CPD, uh, how are you going to make a difference to the lives of other teachers? I um, hope you enjoy. Let me know how you get on. Uh, and thanks for watching this. And thanks for using the website.